Mr. Beast just launched his brand new snack company, Feastables, and he sent me over 200 bars of chocolate. And that includes all three flavors, original chocolate, almond, and quinoa crunch. Altogether, 73,440 calories, over 28 pounds of chocolate. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with all this. I mean, it's 28 pounds. I can't physically eat 28 pounds of chocolate, but we're gonna do our best. I'm gonna take as many of these feastable chocolate bars as I can, melt them down, and make a giant, potentially the world's largest, Mr. Beast Feastables chocolate bar. And then, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to eat it. Dude, this is the first time I'm getting product early. It's pretty cool. I feel like Marquez Brownlee. Like, oh, I got that two <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> Huge shout out to Mr. Beast. We're getting exclusive here. We're gonna taste these chocolate. We're gonna see what's up. All right, first up, original chocolate. All right, so right off the bat, this is perforations unlike any other chocolate I've ever seen before. <laughs> There's only one perforation. Man, there you go. All right, here we go. It's got a lot of snap to it. It's not one of those creamy melt in your mouth chocolates. I mean, I don't know if this, I don't know if it makes sense, but it tastes like uh, it tastes like dark chocolate without that bitterness. Like it's a little more sweet. Good. Damn, it's, it's addicting. I already have a bar. I got two more to try, so I'm gonna put this to the side. All right, next up, we're gonna try another common combination: the almond chocolate Mr. Beast candy bar. Every bar comes with a little code. Hey, free code. There you go. <laughs> All right. Appearance-wise, exactly the same. Same front on the back. You can see all the nuts. I'm gonna say this one edges out the original chocolate because I'm liking the crunch. I like the almonds. So, that one's better than that one. I'd say so, yeah. They're both good. Nuts don't add like a crazy amount of different flavor and stuff, but it's just a little crunch and I like it. Is it the same chocolate as original? Yeah, it tastes like the same. All right, and last up, we got the most interesting one. I think the coolest name too, the Quinoa Crunch Chocolate. Probably gonna be like a crunch bar a little bit, but quinoa. All right, here we go, quinoa crunch. Yeah, I'm usually dieted all the time. This is like the first time I've eaten chocolate in a long time. This is so good. <laughs> I hate to be, it sound like a broken record. I think this one's better than the last one. So as you can see the back, I mean, it looks like the rice crispy kind of like chocolate that exists on the market and stuff, but quinoa, I guess. All right, well, my verdict, I kind of already said it. I think the quinoa crunch takes the cake. Then the almond, then the original chocolate. I just like the crunch. The crunch is fun. <laughs> All right, well, that's three bars down. We still have 213 bars left to go. Taste test out of the way. It's time for the challenge. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. It fits really good when you just like line up like this. So we're gonna do three different flavors. We'll start on my top choice, the quinoa crunch. All right, and then for the center, we're gonna go with the original. Don't toss out the wrappers. We got, a, we got 200 entries to get into Mr. Beast's uh, chocolate factories. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I mean, I, I, we'll, we'll give away codes all throughout the video, so uh, get your screen, screen captures ready. And lastly, we're gonna do the almond chocolate. Piece of cold. Oh, oh! Beautiful. Oh my God, that's heavy. All right, there we go. 52 and three quarters, Mr. Beast Feastable chocolate bars are in this tray. All right, so the plan is, and this, I hope to God this works. We're gonna stick this thing in the oven and just hope it turns into a giant chocolate bar. <laughs> a whole lot of chocolate. I don't know how long it's gonna take, so we'll just keep our eyes on it, and uh, yeah, let's hope this works out. I think we should take it out and at least check it. Oh, yeah, that is really melted. All right, so it looks good. Uh, it looks like the texture is separated like I was hoping to. I think the biggest thing is trying to get these air bubbles out of the way. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, it's been about 20 hours. Um, should have been enough time to cool off, so it's time to take it out. I can't, I can't emotionally afford to have another Del Gone candy challenge happen <laughs> right now. <laughs> So we're gonna use this. Oh shit. Okay. It's stuck. Oh, oh. oh my god. Ah. Alright, dude, that came out 
I'm gonna say that came out perfectly. I would have liked a little extra distinction here. It's not as pronounced as the back, but you can definitely see the different flavors, the almond, the original, and then the quinoa crunch. <laughs> it's perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better gigantic chocolate bar, but the only thing that this is missing is a little bit of personality, a little bit of special touch. Of course, since this is a Mr. Beast Feastables chocolate bar, we gotta represent properly, so I'm gonna do my best to carve Mr. Beast's logo into this bar before eating it. I'm no artist, so hopefully I don't destroy it. But we'll be careful. Let's get carving. No statue of David or shit, but like, you know, it's... <laughs> Alright, the big review. This is the world's largest Mr. Beast chocolate bar. On the back, we got a little bit more, you can see the the flavors. Again, this is 52 and 3 quarters of Mr. Beast brand new chocolate bars. You can get them right now, I think, at Feastables.com. It's a brand new snack company, so definitely check that out. But yeah, I think it came out awesome. I, I wish I got, like, blue paint or something. That would have been kind of cool. That blue I can. <laughs> Is it edible? No. <laughs> all right, well, um, it's about that time. After all this time it took to make it, carve it, and all of that, it's almost a shame, but uh, it's time to eat this chocolate bar, so let's do it. Three, yeah. two, one, go. So rich. <clears throat> this whole angle is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, a little over five minutes. Slow progress. We're gonna hey, hold this thing up with a lot of effort. <laughs> Alright, keep going. This is the, my favorite, the quinoa. Come on, 75%, Dave. <laughs> you got this. Oh my god. <clears throat> Alright, guys, a little over 10 minutes. My jaw, my jaw is tired. My back is tired. My arms are tired. My mouth is getting cut up. This is brutal. We are making progress. I'm actually speeding up, I feel like. I'm getting in a groove, but. Still good after that? Oh, hell yeah, man. That can't even front to still. It's the best buy of chocolate I've ever had in my life. <laughs> is it tearing your cheeks? Hmm? Is it tearing your cheeks? Oh, no, but. There's so much chocolate. <laughs> All right. Um, and with that, the quinoa crunch, we're gone. 25.15, we still have, actually I put a, oh damn. I almost ate half the chocolate bar. Let's see how much I can do with 30. Let's see if I can eat half of it in 30. Five, four, three, two, one, and. Mm. Oh my god. Oh man. Wow. Alright, that's 30 minutes. Oh. Let me do, let me clean up. I'm a mess. I'm not gonna lie, I had a I I knew that I was gonna really eat this. This much chocolate. This is the biggest bar of chocolate I've ever seen anybody attempt. There's a five pound Hershey's bar out there that I think everybody's failed. I don't, I don't know if anybody's actually completed it. Chocolate is one of the most 
difficult foods to eat in mass quantity, fast. It's crunchy sweet, rich, all, it, it checks all boxes of difficulty. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we tried our best. We ate about three and a quarter pounds of chocolate, probably around 9,000 calories of chocolate. A ton of chocolate. Say so huge thanks to Mr. Beast for sending all these amazing chocolate bars early before launch so I can get this video out close to his launch of his new snack company, Feastables. You can get these chocolate bars and probably new products in the near future at feastables.com. It's tough, it's a little awkward because I feel like I'm like, I'm like struggling to eat this and like I, I'm trying to represent the chocolate. And if it's like this is, you don't eat this much chocolate normally. It's, uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next food challenge. Welcome to 2022. <laughs> Damn, I don't know. I hate to give up, like, I hate to give up, like, obviously I've got a little bit more in the tank, but not this much more in the tank. <laughs>